Hello everybody, um, my name is Drew Biscuit and welcome to my very first video and this is going to be the first of hopefully many for my Space Engineers Just Play series. So the idea behind this is that we're just going to, well I'm just going to play the game. Um, I have added a couple of mods to this so we'll get to enjoy things like the Reavers and um, all that kind of fun stuff. I'll put a, uh, a list of the mods either somewhere on the screen or in the description. Um, I'm new to the editing and the recording side of things, so I have no idea how this sounds or anything. But uh, yeah, we're going to just jump straight into this. So we're going to go into the Earthlight Drop Pod. Um, if you've seen the introduction, then you'll know that that's where we currently are. So yeah, let's uh, kind of get started with this. Okay, so... Oh, not the best of starting places. But uh, we'll, we'll make do. <coughs> we'll make do. Um, so the aim of this series is just to enjoy playing the game. Uh, the idea is to kind of get a feel for the editing, the length of my recordings, that kind of thing. Um, but the goal is going to be to land on the alien planet and set up a base. Which I think is that one all the way over there. Um, now, oh, we're going to have to wait for this to do its thing. Um, I want to set up a base um, on the Earthlight planet, so we're supposed to kind of start, make a ship, make a base, take some time, uh, and then get a jump drive, basic resources, and land on the alien planet. And I am upside down. Um, so that is what it is. <coughs> so let's get started. Got a bit of a dip here, so I think I'll use this for my little mining area. So we're gonna make a start and we're just gonna gather the basics. I think that's too loud in my headset, so I'm gonna just turn that down a bit slightly. That's better. Couldn't even hear myself talk. Um yeah, so hopefully some people will find this interesting. Um can't say anyone's going to learn much from this because I'm not an expert in any way. Um, I've decided to start a YouTube channel mainly because I've lost quite a few hours uh, playing not just Space Engineers but multiple games. But I have this uh, I have this thing where I have to constantly keep starting again. Um, so I don't actually have anything to show for my... I think it, I'm over like 1200 hours in Space Engineers. And you think with that amount of hours, I know what I'm doing, but hard. So we will see where we go with this. <coughs> uh, right, so where's my pod? Okay, so we're going to start, and I'm just going to... Oh yeah, they've changed this now, haven't they? Uh, so I'm just going to get a couple of fires and them processing. So I'm just going to gather resources so we're not doing loads of um, digging later. And the aim is going to be to get a very quick kind of base set up, no design or anything thought about, um, but then get a way to be able to start mining the terrain. Because I hate hand mining. Um, it's just so long. Apart from the model list, um, settings on this playthrough are all pretty basic. I haven't hooked my inventory uh, or drill or the production speeds, they're all default. The only thing I have done is enabled wolves and enabled spiders, which obviously aren't going to affect us on this planet. Uh, scripts are enabled, but you have to enable them for some of the mods that I've got to work, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm probably wrong, but I've just ended with them anyway. And yeah, we're going to just kind of enjoy this, try and become a space force to be reckoned with. So, I'm going to just do some mining, and uh, yeah, we'll pick up once I've got a fair one done. Okay, so we've got just over 1500 iron, so I'm hoping that's going to be enough to get a bit of a start on the base. <coughs> so, uh, let's go for some interior points. 
and I'm using interior plates because they're cheaper than using uh, these ones. I think these use seven iron, I think, whereas these only use one. And we just want to get a very cheap setup done, so we're not really faffing around too much. Oh, we've got new wind turbines. Oh, so how? Okay. Is that, is that a lot bigger than the other one? It is. It's loads bigger. Okay. I mean, I'll try using them. So, what was I doing? Uh, interior blocks. Uh, interior. So, I'm just going to build a really weak and ridiculous tower just to put a turbine on top of it. Whoops. You know what? Give me that. And then I can put a turbine on top. They is massive. So let's get that. While I'm waiting, I might as well do a quick bit more mining. Oh, I, I like an unknown signal. No! No! Wait! Wait! Give me your goodies! Oh, now I'm not going to get a reward because you've made me grind your dad to pieces. Oh, is it that button? Is that even a button? Yes, it is, but it's not working. Oh, did I lose your cargo? Ah, oh, if you'd have just stayed still, that could have been painless. We. Uh, yeah. But we should hopefully have. Boom. Got all the components to get this thing going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're gonna spin me off. Nah, just kidding. Oh, yeah, they look quite nice. You go in. Oh, actually, I should probably take the gun because I've got wolves on. This is nothing but a temporary solution to, uh, oh I need steel plates for that. <laughs> uh, temporary solution just to get us started, once we've got the basics. No, we're fine. Um, yeah, get the basics and then we can get a base made. So. I'm going to do the refinery first. And that is the refinery done. No! Ugh. I don't, I'm so used to putting stone in the survival gear. I completely forgot I've got a refinery. I better just put it down. Yeah. No. I've, I've, what have I just said? No! Use the refinery. Oh. No. And there's our assembly. Boom. Okay. So now that we have that, the next thing that this base is going to need is a cargo. Uh, I'm only going to go for a small one because that's all I can do right now. Okay, so we're now going to try and use this. So, first thing I need are the grids from these thrusters. We're going to need all four for cargo. Ah, oh, no signal. Let's drop all tools. Hang on, how much hide? Oh. Oh, there's a bolt here. Ow! Silver? Yeah. Thank you kindly. Right, this time. Right, interior plates. Where's your button? Oh, it's underneath in the hole, look. Okay. To the respawn pod. Let's... Get a bit of recharging going. Uh, right, what was I doing? Oh yes, thrusters. There we 
Okay, right, so number eight can go. Oh, into a plate, that's fine. Uh, take you out, straighten you up. <coughs> there we go, we have cargo. Okay, next survival kit. So let's cut you down. There we go. Okay, so we got survival kit, storage, refining, and that. I now need battery. Right, that's going to take a little while. How are our resources? We are not doing well. We already used half our iron. So let's. Oh, actually, shall we go looking for some? Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's go on a hunt for iron. Magnesium. Yep, silicon and magnesium normally come together. Ice. Oh, I see a rock. Nickel. Ice and silicon and magnesium again. More nickel. We've got some gold. That's... Oh, I thought that was cobalt then. Silicon, magnesium. Nope, nickel. I don't really care about the nickel. Cobalt, iron, boom. Five kilometers away. Alright, let's put you in there. Okay, so I do want to go and get some cobalt. And there's our battery. Okay. Oh, I should have rotated it. Can't see my lights. Boom. There we go. We can now produce hydrogen, which means I can refill. Yeah, there we go. I just need to refill my bottle. Unknown signal. We're getting that. Damn nerves. Oh no, it's number four. No! No! No, 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 no. Okay, can I get. I just get my driver. Ah. There we go. Right, one second, because you dropped a bit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just give it up. Never mind. Go and grab some cobalt. I guess that will do. Now it's better than nothing. Okay, so I leave that one. Right, whilst we wait for that cobalt, let's get this ground down. Hmm. I was going to keep. Battery, but I just don't know if I'll use it. Okay. We'll leave that. I don't know whether to use it or not. It makes sense to try and use it for a ship, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure. It might not be in the best position. Oh, I got the data pad from the survival pod. Yep, yeah, okay, so that's just the, basically telling us there's a trader somewhere. Pretty much, well, that way. Um, okay, so I've got the very basics of a base. Uh, I call it a base, it's more of just a bit of a, a workbench more than anything, really. But we've got a means of power, we've got a means of charging, which is good. Uh, and we are currently producing more power than we're using, so that's fine. The only other thing I want to do is I want to be able to, I want to be able to mine down. It would be nice not having to keep mining stone or having to go all the way over there for the iron, wherever it is. So I'm going to go for a large cargo container. And I'm not going to worry about using any of the warfare stuff or the other nice stuff at the moment. I just want to get a basic thing for running. I am going to go get the iron. Uh, I can't remember which one of these signals it is, so... Oh, it's all the way over there. And then when it's daytime, we'll try and find a spot that's a little bit closer. Okay, now we've got to fly the way back. You know what I want to do? 
is normally I end up with a drill and I, I have made the drills where it's kind of like a self building drill so it can keep going down and down infinitely and you end up with a ridiculous amount of stone which you just can't deal with and then you end up having to turn it off and just leaving it off for long periods. I don't want to do that. Um, I want to have a play with some of these logic blocks that they've got and I want to see if I can make an auto miner. Um, no idea how they work. <coughs> the most I've done is I've used the little, uh, what are they called? They call it moti blocks or moticons or something. Uh, I've used those, I used those in my introduction. But apart from that, not played with it. Ah! We do not want to be getting too close to them. I don't know what the range is, but uh, I don't want to test it. Uh oh. That's a rock. Oh, I found my gold. And some iron. Oh, crap. I'm not a boogie. Ting. Oh, boom. Ting, 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 ting. Uh, so sad. There's our story. Hey. Okay. So, how are we doing for the old iron? I've got over a thousand. Okay, so, first thing I'm going to want to do, and I think I'll be okay, what's the collision box on this? That looks one, two, one, two. Oh, we're fine. Okay, so first things first, I want to get rid of this tree. We want to get a piston on top of here. There we go. So we've got our three pistons. Um, now we want to share inertia tension. Yeah, share inertia tension on them. Reverse their velocity. There we go. So once I figure out how many pistons I'm going to use, then I will change their speed. So we'll bring out some conveyors, more pistons with a advanced rotor, and then just multiple drills. Just, you know, same old kind of thing. Um, I'm not going to start with too many drills. Uh, I'll expand it as and when I need to. Being able to just plunge the drill quite deep into the ground is uh, a, a nice start anyway. Now, I'm just going to plan for something, just in case. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, give me my tape, please. Right, let's pop you there. Put another junction. Those junctions are there, not for anything in particular. Uh, I'm just thinking it's nice to have a junction on a, uh, on a corner, just in case. Uh, my thinking is potentially turrets. There's quite a nice height for turrets, should uh, I need to defend myself, which probably will be a requirement at some point. We're going to want a conveyor there, an advanced rotor. Can I reach? No, of course I can't. So that is correct. And then we will have another one of these. And then we will have a drill. And we will start with just the one drill. That's like practically perfect. So we now want to get this all welded. Then the drill. This number two complete. This number three complete. Piston number four complete. Piston number five. Piston number six. Piston number seven. And piston number eight. 
mermaid number one. It's taking a long time to get some meat. Uh, I need to keep this up here at some point. Oh, I think I need some nickel. I do. Okay, that will do. So, let's get home. There we go. Right, now I've got nickel in the system. So hopefully you can produce only milks that I need. How much does a milk take? 1.67. So why are you not going? Missing items. You've got nickel. What else do you need? Oh, I've run out of iron. Very soon I won't have to keep coming over here. Although my aim is going to be to come here and grab it in this little ship. Seven. And finally, there we go. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to sort out the pistons. Uh, so if I search piston, uh, okay, I need to rename these pistons. What was it? Is it zero point or zero point one? I think. So I've got eleven. So it's 0 0.1 divided by 11. 0 0.008. Maybe. Okay. So let's find out if this works. So we want to turn the drill on. So that's the drill. So now we want all pistons to reverse. Obviously there's wobble, but there's always going to be wobble with this amount of piston. So I think that speed, I mean obviously that's going quite slow. But if you think that we would have, we'll be having this spinning, then that's probably okay. Okay, so you're about, what was this, about just over a meter away from the ground. I think I'm happy with that speed. There we go. I'm starting to see voxels reforming, which is good. So if I go into here, 682, 832, there we go. So our stone is building up, so that's good. So now that's going to start trickling in. This nickel needs to kind of do one for a bit, I think. The stone isn't going anywhere now, so the refinery is just smelting the stone quicker than it's uh, coming in, which is fine. But there we go. So we're just going to leave that for a little bit. And that can do its thing. Um, this large car container is going to hold plenty of stone. Currently empty, so that's good. Let's put my credits in there. Reorganize this a little bit. There we go. So I would say with our current setup, we are ready. We're now in a position where we've got the bare essentials. We can probably start looking at building a little bit of a base. Um, and then we're going to expand on that. So I'm going to go around and quickly chop down some of these trees. Because they're all in my way. Okay. There we go, I've got a bit of land cleared. So what's my aim going to be? Well. Obviously, we're going to have a big gaping hole here. So, we're going to keep that. Eventually, it will become a huge drill rig. Not sure how it's going to look yet. Not got a clue which going to kind of win this. Um, so, let's have a quick look. So, the interior blocks, the sci fi one. How does this look? Maybe I use that floor inside my base. So I'm going to get some basic materials. Oh, how's our stone? Oh, look at that. Now we've got a little bit of a uh, rig going and that's going to be going for quite a while. Look at that. How do we want this to be? So, where do we want this book to be? Do we want it to be level with that? Probably wouldn't hurt. Um, so our first little bit is going to be more like a shed. Right, then we've got a little floor plan going. There we go. I'm now friends with all these people. 
<laughs> That's good. So, how are you doing on your stove? You've got loads. So, it's just over halfway. Oh, we'll be fine. Be absolutely fine. So, one plunge of the drill is going to fill up a cargo container. So, something we need to bear in mind is if we add two drills to the system, we're going to need two of these cargo containers in total. Okay. So, what I want to do is I want to fit things into this and then we'll worry about where the wall's going to go. So, I want to make a basic, a standard assembly. But I'm going to go for, I want to go industrial with my build, I think. So, if I was to put you there. Now, am I right or wrong in saying that these were designed to connect to each other? I think they were, right? So I can do that, walk up, and I can get into my assembly. Boom. Let's get some of these interior walls. I'm out of interior bits. So let's bring those to the front. Make me my interior plates. Then do is bring this out some. I need to go, I need to build an odd. One, two, three, four, five. So we can leave it like that for now. Um, so over that'll be our little production. So over here, I'm going to want deep storage. And then that one is industrial one. What was that? Oh, I'll create okay. it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. This could go to that catwalk if I wanted to, couldn't it? And I could uh, this way out one. Something I don't. Know. But yeah, so we've got a cargo which will be linked to this here. Right, so we want a end, which is going to go that way, and then we want a curved. Then we want a curved. And then, what do we need? Yep, we want a curved. There we go. And then over here, so we're going to come in, and this is going to be our little living quarters. So, you're going to be here. Or you're going to be like that. Yeah, we'll go like this. Um, medical room. Yeah, they made this now, haven't they? Uh, which is quite nice because it means you don't have to convey onto the top anymore. So I could do this, and then if I have to, I can convey around here. But I don't think I'd have to do that for anything. And this can be like my little living area. So I'll decorate it later. So that's what I need, I think. So have we got any of these components ready yet? How's my stove? Energy. Oh, I think the pistons have just done. Okay, we don't need something, that's fine. So, let's see if I can get this built. I'm going to say the answer to that question is no, not right now. Okay, so we dump you in there. Pop you here. Just smash through that and get me plenty of iron, please. And then while you're doing that, whoops. Let's go and get some more. Maybe I should be smashing some more refiners on this just to keep this going. Because I've got a lot of stone in there. Uh, not in there, there. And that's refinery number four. So we should be producing iron and whatnot much quicker. Okay, so next I'm going to increase my wind turbine. Wind turbine number three. And this is wind turbine number three. No, four, sorry. There's four turbines I've got now. <coughs> so, is our battery still showing completion? Nine hours. Okay, so we've tripled the 
length of time our power's going to pass, which is good. Should I be putting turrets on there? What I don't know is when you make a turret, if that activates the these guys to become aggressive. I hope not. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm going to wait until I get this bit built. Okay, there we go, 2.3k of ice. We should be good with that. Um, there was plenty of hydrogen to do our short term goal. And at the moment, what I'm aiming for is a little bit of a, a structured base. I don't want all my stuff outside like I've got it now, I want it to be armoured, I, I, I want to build properly, I, I always go light armour because I always think, oh it's my first base, blah 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 blah, but I want to do this, I want to take my time, I want to build a base that I'm proud of, and one that's going to stand up against all of these enemies around us, and then we'll start thinking about making our way to the alien planet, which is probably, oh yeah, that's Mars, so it's got to be that one there. So that's where we're going. There we go. We've got our industrial refinery. Whoop whoop. So now we just want this. And there we go. We've got our industrial assembler. There we go. So we can go up here. And yeah, it's uh, it's nice. It's designed so you can can do that. Obviously, oh. That's a I was going to put a thingy here, wasn't I? So maybe the catwalk goes this way and you've got your battery there. So, if we say that was going to go there, there's some more stuff. See our power. We'll make a catwalk over there a little bit, and we'll probably have that open to a door so we've got a balcony. Um, so let's go up there, there, there. Got our first battery on our new little base. Just thinking about it, I am going to go need to get, get some cobalt. That should, if we can keep it powered, provide us with enough output as we, we need. Uh, so, what we've got? Five hours, five hours. So, we've got five hours of power on this base. And that's where you smell it, so that's good. <coughs> so, it would be nice to get everything moved across here, including the power. I just don't know the best way of doing it. What I would like to do is I would like to have a play with the uh what 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 do you call it? I'm pretty sure in here. Uh, maybe it's that. No. I thought there was I'm sure I've read somewhere that you can uh, track the sun, but I don't know if there's a specific block that you need or something else. I don't see anything. Event controller, maybe. Oh, 
Oh, maybe it's a... Maybe we can combine that with the camera? I don't know. But yeah, I would like to have a, a solar array. I want to have one of these new solar panels. So we're going to build that off somewhere. I need to get a, a structure on this. So if we say we're going to stick with this shoe, I'm going to have to come back one though. Just to make sure. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. No, I don't know actually. There's no point the point in having another interior block. I might as well just put the heavy arm on the outside of this. So, let's... Uh, oh yeah, we want to get some bits of this function on, don't we? So, pew, 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 seven, eight. Oh wait, I know what I need to do. We need to go drilling. Uh, yeah, I could do it there, couldn't I? Hang on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so I can change on. And then, same again. So, we can rotate the piston, reverse the piston. And eventually, that will start drilling. Um, but iron. So let me get. Let me get. Let me get. Uh, we don't have much. But if I take 2,500 up there, pop it into this guy over here. expensive route back here. Let's go for heavy armor back. Heavy armor slope base. Corner base on the tip. I will not be worried about the transitions for now. What are these scaffolds? So, I'm not against having uh, double doors. We don't need the airlock, so I'm not going to worry about having more space in there. Um, so, we've got heavy armor. So, we're going to bring this. Uh, we'll bring this all the way around. I never, go, I never do rounded bases. No particular reason. I just, I just don't. Um, so maybe I should do that. The only downside is you, you don't get. No, you know what? We'll, we'll leave straight for our ships. Let's do something different. Let's get rid of all this and let's go heavy rounded. Nope, not you. Oh, this is just that. Okay. Yeah, I never do this, and I don't know if this is going to look terrible. But we will see. Whoops. 
can get rid of that. There we go. And that's going to give us enough room here so that we can put. Uh... Oh. Oh, rats. No, I'm wrong. That doesn't. I thought that was going to give me. So these don't have ports on the top. Interesting. So actually, these aren't connected. That is good to know. Um, okay. Did not spot that at all. So if I do that, at least go that way. Like so. Okay. But yeah, so we will have a conveyor junction. Uh, if I can get some material, please. Right, and you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there. Then we're gonna have these on the top here. Yeah, so that's the start of the place, I think. So it's coming along nicely. Oh yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay, how are we doing for opponents? Two H two generator is done. I need some medical complex which I need. Is there a way of accessing the refinery from up here? No, that's a bit irritating. But not to worry. Uh, get the silver out there. Oh, actually, don't need to do that. Uh, okay. Do that. I need more nickel. Probably not in here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, as an access of this is actually, I didn't think it would occur to me that would be a problem. Anyway, I can get to it from here, I guess. Um, There's our medical room. Whoop whoop. 
Oh, I like the little display. There we go. It's quite nice, that is. Okay. We have a. Oh, that's the point. We have a lead to get hydrogen. Oh, I want more ice. Where's my ice? Take the guys out. The ice over here. Oh, boom. There we go. Okay. That's all that done. You're all welded. There we go. Now I've got storage on the main base. Just need some motors. Oh, you just went in too? I did not go check on the stove. Joe. Oh, we're fine. We were fine, just keep it nice. Okay. So I think that's a good time to call it. Uh, oh, I've been doing this for three hours. So yes, definitely a good time to call this now. Um, so yeah, next time, I think I'm going to aim on getting all this uh, taken down. <coughs> Apart from the drill, the drill can stay there for now get the drill hooked up to this base over here and start using our decent refinery. I need to get the modules installed onto both of these, uh, get some walls up, get this decorated and we're going to need to also get some turrets on the base because we need to start uh, preparing for these guys getting closer. Um, but yeah, if you uh, if you like the video then uh, leave me a comment, leave me a like uh, and yeah, if, if you do want to subscribe then yeah, feel free. This was my first video so hopefully once I've edited it it's not too bad but I'm open to any suggestions uh, any comments you may have out whether you like or dislike this so until next time take care and I will see you then <laughs>